Higher Notes 1.0, Vectors, Scalars and Acceleration. This is part three, how to add vectors at right angles, tip to tail. Um, there are three types of uh, vectors that you can add. And these are displacement, velocity, and force. And the mathematics of adding displacement, velocity, and force vectors. The mathematics is exactly the same for each of them. And in this example, we're going to use um, a problem where the two vectors are at right angles to each other. So it's rather like the national five questions that you've done. I'm just going to choose velocity vectors, but the same mathematical principles apply to um, displacement and to force. So let's imagine that we have a classic situation of a, a river, like so, and this is the river bank. Sketch that. And we have um, uh, obviously uh, water in the river. So here's the water, and here's the river bank. And we've got a chap in a boat. There he is. And he's able to row across the river. Let's see, boat velocity at uh, three meters per second. However, he discovers that the water current is quite strong today, and the water velocity, let's see, is four meters per second. And the question then is, if he leaves from point uh, A, heading and hoping to go to point B, uh, will he actually reach point B or, or will he end up uh, somewhere else? Well, you've probably deduced from your work last year that he's much more liable to end up uh, sort of somewhere down here at point C because his resultant velocity will not be 3 metres per second, and it will not be 4. It will be the vector addition of 3 and 4. Um, and in order to know his precise direction, we need to know north. So let's get our north uh, indicator in. Let's assume, as is our convention, that north is to the top of the page. So how do we find... Um, his resultant velocity. Well, um, again, as before, we need to split up our uh, calculation into finding the magnitude of the velocity. Where we will use Pythagoras. And the direction where we will use and theta. So we're just going to do a sketch diagram for this. So here we are. Here is our boat velocity, three meters per second north. We add to that tip to tail. There's the tail of the water velocity added to the tip of the boat velocity. And that, of course, is at right angles, as shown. The resultant goes from the start of the diagram to the end of the diagram. We'll 
call that VR power resultant, and we'll call the angle theta. So to calculate the magnitude of VR, <clears throat> we can say VR squared equals 3 squared plus 4 squared. So that's equal to 9 plus 16. So VR squared is 25. And I've deliberately chosen nice easy numbers here, giving me a resultant of 5 meters per second. I'm just keeping the significant figures very simple here to avoid any additional layers of working. Now direction. Well, uh, if you look at my diagram, uh, I can use tan theta is opposite over adjacent in this case is 4 over 3. So theta is the angle whose tangent is 4 over 3. So on your calculator you need to now do that. Inverse tan open brackets 4 divided by 3 close brackets and you'll get 53 0.1 degrees. Okay, we're not quite finished. We need to specify the resultant with its direction using a three figure bearing. So the resultant velocity of the boat is the resultant equals 5 meters per second. We now do the three-figure bearing. The three-figure bearings are always measured clockwise from north. North, of course, is to the top of the page. So the angle I've got is conveniently what the bearing is, but we make it three figures, so it becomes 0, 5, 3. And that's the resultant velocity of the boat. 053 means that he's going to end up sort of going across that way. And he'll end up at point C probably. So that's how you add two vectors tip to tail if they're at right angles. And these vectors, remember, could be displacements, they could be velocities as I've done here, but they could also be two forces acting on a body as well.